Duluth Public Schools just made a $600,000 purchase that's aimed to centralize the community and Duluth area schools. Duluth Public Schools uh, purchasing the Duluth News Tribune building in downtown Duluth. Superintendent John Magus telling us that uh, everybody's really excited for the new space as it really is going to allow them to sell previous buildings that are currently used for storage, office space, learning centers, Duluth Public Schools, um, purchasing the 64 square foot building. So it's going to be an incredible opportunity for us to, to invest in downtown, have our footprint here, and actually be able to uh, have people have access to our schools at a, at a location that's close. Superintendent Magus says he plans on using the space for storage, office space, uh, and as a potential future home for the Duluth Public Schools online learning center there, Duluth Adult Education and Academic Excellence Online School. But with a downtown location, he's most excited to be centralized as a welcome center for families and the community. So a lot of districts of our size have what's called a welcome center. And what a welcome center does is it allows parents to come in. It's a convenient location to come and make sure that you're registered for classes, make sure that you have uh, your enrollment all taken care of, make sure that the free and reduced lunch forms are taken care of. Uh, having a one-stop shop for all of those services. The previous tax increase from the referendum that the Duluth Public Schools voted on in July will adjust for the new acquisition. A family with a house worth about $200,000 would be paying roughly $83 per year as an investment into youth education instead of the initial $93 as proposed by that referendum. We reached out to the DNT, by the way. They have not commented on the purchase just yet in regard to what's happening uh, with them once they vacate that building downtown.